Hello everyone and welcome back to another Goalie Hub video. So the 2020 NHL Draft is coming up in under a year from now and the top goalie prospect, without a doubt, Yaroslav Askarov has really caught my eye. I wanted to talk about him in this video, so I will. And I know I swear half the world's population has already talked about this kid, but there's a reason why, it's because he's a superstar in the making. I now believe that we're going into a generation where goalies are better than ever. Like you look at 2019, Spencer Knight was taken top 15 of the draft. That hasn't happened since I believe Jack Campbell in, um, let me look this up. Okay, so he was taken 11th overall in 2010 and Vasilevsky was close with 19th overall in 2012. So, you know, two ends of the spectrum there. Vasilevsky's a superstar, Campbell not so much. But now we have guys like Spencer Knight, um, now Yaroslav Askarov in 2020 looking like definitely a top 15 pick, possibly top 10. I've seen some guys put him as high as number 5. And in 2021, a guy who I'm thinking of doing another video on, Jesper Wallstedt, he's looking to be a top 15 goalie, maybe top 10. A guy like Yaroslav Askarov, it's basically same situation for Wallstedt. So it's very interesting. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out of how younger goalies are becoming more dominant now and teams are wanting to take more chances in the first round, it seems like again. Like, that's getting revived, I guess, that style of drafting. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is specifically only about Yaroslav Askarov. This Russian machine is absolutely, like, he's ridiculous. But taking a look at Yaroslav Askarov's stats and info, so he's 17 years old, and I wanted to point out this guy is huge. He is six foot three as a 17 year old which is great because he can take up a lot of the net and I've heard a lot of people talk about that he's so big in the net but he's still athletic at the same time which is definitely a big thing towards today's goaltending. Another thing I wanted to point out that I found interesting is that he's a right handed goalie so he catches with his right hand which is kind of rare in today's NHL. So taking a look at his stats from last season so 2018-19. Um, he played in Russia's top junior league, the MHL, and was a starter playing 31 games, putting up a 2.37 goals against average and a dominant 921 save percentage. And in the playoffs, he didn't do as good as in four games, he had a 3.61 goals against average and a .898 save percentage. That is a step down from his regular season stats, but it is only a four game sample in the playoffs, so it does not worry me too much. This season, in the 1920 season, Askarov got promoted to the second highest professional league in Russia, the VHL, where he so far played 10 games, putting up a 2.54 goals against average and a pretty good 9-1-0 save percentage. Keep in mind, he's still only 17 years old and he's playing pro hockey in Russia in their second highest pro league, and honestly, I think the KHL isn't too far away from Askarov. Yaroslav Askarov's international stats in international tournaments is really what makes him stand out to scouts. Last year, playing in the Helinka Gretzky Cup for Russia, he played four games, putting up a 2.26 goals against average and a .913 save percentage. He helped Russia win bronze in that tournament. Now, I know some of you are going to say the Helinka Gretzky Cup is kind of overrated and it is kind of pointless. People blow it out of proportion. And I can sort of agree with that. Some players that have had really good Hlinka Gretzky Cups have also had like poor regular seasons, but they get drafted high because of their Hlinka Gretzky Cup and other international tournaments. But nonetheless, it is still an international competition that requires high level of skill, and Askarov has done good in it. Last year also, he started out in the under-17s for Russia playing 5 games where he just proved he did not belong, with a 1.4 goals against average and a .948 save percentage. His play was so good in that tournament, he was named to the tournament all-star team as well as winning best goals against average and best save percentage and the gold medal. In the under-18s, Askarov really wowed scouts. In six games played for the Russians, he put up a 2.31 goals against average and a .916 save percentage. Askarov played very well in this tournament though, where he dominated the stacked Canadian squad and took out the stacked American squad, but Russia lost in the gold medal game, but they still picked up the silver medal. Askarov's play in this tournament earned him the best goaltender honors at the under 18s, as well as being named to the tournament all-star team. So far this season, he played in the Holinka Gretzky Cup again, improving his numbers a lot this time, whereas in four games played, he put up an insane 
1.25 goals against average and a crazy .960 save percentage, he got the gold medal. Looking back at the draft rankings I was talking about earlier, Craig Button from TSN ranked Askarov number 5 in the 2020 NHL Draft. Sportsnet ranked him at number 13 for the 2020 NHL Draft, and the Hockey News had him at number 9 in their rankings back from August. In the Hockey News Magazine, they ranked Askarov number 12 in their top 121 and under, so it's safe to say he's a pretty dominant goalie. So that is all I pretty much had to say about Yaroslav Askarov, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. And as I say in every video, be sure to check me out on Instagram at goalie underscore hub, uh, link will be in the description down below. I try to post a lot of great content on there, and I'm also trying to post daily now, so if you want daily hockey content, go check me out, and follow. And also let me know down in the comments section below if you guys enjoy these prospect type videos, uh, I kind of enjoy making them. It's fun to look at these goalies that are possibly the next generation of NHL puck stoppers. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.